A research team confirmed the devastating power of the wind blowing between tall buildings. The Heonda District Office in Busan conducted a test to check the velocity of the winds passing through skyscrapers, and the team found that the wind velocity around the high-rise LCT, where windows shattered due to gusty winds, was more than twice as strong as other areas. Trees uprooted, steel structures destroyed. The scenes near the skyscrapers in Heunde, after gusty winds reaching 24 meters per second, swept through the area. The winds gained strength and velocity while passing through high-rise buildings. 옛날에 저큰 태풍 매미 뭡니까? 그거 와서도 여, 우리 아무 이상 없었어요. 근데 요 들어서고는 우리 지금 유리 박살나고 뭐다 피해를 보고 있잖아요. The destructive power of winds blowing between buildings has been confirmed in a simulation test. These are the findings from a study commissioned by the Heunde District Office. When the wind is measured at 20 meters per second, the wind velocity at Mipo, Heundegu District, where the LCT buildings are located, is projected at more than double the speed at 43 meters per second. A wind velocity of 20 meters per second warrants a strong wind alert. Under the same circumstances, the wind speed near Heunde's Marine City increased 1.7 times to 35 meters per second. 빌딩들 사이로 이렇게 바람이 들어갈 때 넓은 데서 좁은 데로 이렇게 어떤 유체나 어떤 공기나 이런 게 흘러갈 때 빨라진다는 거죠. There are limitations to this study as the results are from simulations. There could be variables in real situations. But it has been confirmed that winds grow stronger and faster as they pass through tall buildings. So the results should be helpful in finding solutions for the problem. Together with the Ministry of Interior and Safety, Busan plans to conduct a joint study to devise countermeasures starting this April.